Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I am going to show you a machine learning project to predict whether a child has autism spectrum disorder or not. Before stepping into the coding part, let's try to understand the problem statement and the algorithm I am going to use. I am using support vector machine which is one of the most popular supervised machine learning algorithm. The goal is to create the best line or decision boundary that can segregate the n-dimensional space into classes so that we can easily put the new data in the correct category in future. When we feed the data to the model, it tries to plot the data in a graph. Once plotting is done, it tries to find the hyperplane that separates the data in two parts. Then we give a new data and it tries to feed the data in the correct category. Before feeding the data to the model, there are several steps we need to follow. First, we need to pre-process the data and analyze it. The data is not suitable, so we need to standardize it. After pre-processing is done, we split the data in two parts. First is training part and next is testing part. Then we use a support vector machine classifier to predict the output. So let's step into the coding part. Here I have used Python language to write the code. I have imported the NumPy and Pandas libraries first. For standardizing the data, we need to import standard scalar from sklearn.preprocessing. To train and test the data, we need to import train underscore test underscore split from sklearn.model selection. Then import the SVM that is support vector machine from sklearn. To calculate the accuracy, we import the accuracy underscore score from sklearn.matrix. After that, I have uploaded the CSV file. You can find this uh, CSV file in Kaggle as well. Here is the link. I will provide the link in description box. You can download the dataset from here. So coming back to the code, uh, using autism dataset dot head we can see the first five rows of the dataset and there are several columns present here. Using autism dataset dot shape we can see the total number of rows and columns present in the dataset. And the describe function tells us the total number of rows present here, the mean of the columns, the standard values the minimum value of the column and the maximum value of the column etc. There is a column naming outcome tells us about whether a person is suffering from ASD or not. If it is zero that means it the person is not suffering for, from ASD and if it is one that means he or she is suffering from ASD. So coming back to the uh, this line, we can see that uh, the dot value underscore counts function counts the total number of ones and rows present in the outcome column. One means that the person is with ASD and zero means the person is not with ASD. The last column that tells us whether the person is with autism or not that is the label column. Now we are separating the data and the label. In X, we are storing all the data except the outcome column that is the label column of this data set. And in Y, we are storing the outcome column. And printing the X, we can see that there is all column present except the outcome column and printing the y that is the outcome column we can see all the zeros and ones present here now the value present in this data set of x is not suitable for fitting into the sbm model 
so we need to standardize the data using standard scalar function we are going to standardize the data we are fitting the inconsistent data and based on the standardization we are going to transform the data in a common range now we split the data into two parts for the purpose of training and testing the test size 0.2 means 20% of the data will be used for testing and 80% of the data will be used for training and the random state is used for randomizing the data for training and testing now we are going to use the support vector machine and the svc that is the support vector classifier and kernel equals to linear that means we are using a linear model now to find the accuracy of the data we are using accuracy underscore score and we find that the accuracy of the training data is 0.69 percent and the accuracy of the testing data is 0.73 percent so now the model has been trained and tested successfully now we can give data to the model so that it can predict an output for us so you can see i have taken a input data and now we predict the output if the output is zero that means that the person is not with autism spectrum disorder and if the value is one then the person is with autism spectrum disorder as you can see that the output is zero so the person is not with autism spectrum disorder here i have used the stream lead to deploy the machine learning project now i am running it Here we have login and sign up option. First we sign up here. Sign up is successfully done so we log in. Now we have logged in as Lily. So coming to the nav bar, we we are going to the home. Here we can find some general information about autism spectrum disorder. And going to the dashboard, we can see the statistics of last five years. If we choose the autism traits as yes and generous female, we can see the statistics. Now we are choosing both female and male and you can see the statistics here. So going to the form, so here is the scope of taking an assessment to check whether a child has autism or not. So filling up the form. We can give social responsive as 3, age as 12, speech delay yes, learning disorder yes, which are the symptoms of autism disorder, depression yes, intellectual disability yes, social behavior issue yes, anxiety disorder yes, female as male and suffering from jaundice as yes and family member with post 
ASD history yes and now we can see the result that the person is with autism spectrum disorder and our user can contact us through this feedback form